I got a tour with the guys about old blockchains. I'm calling, I had to argue with Top, had to argue with a, a few of them. Like, man, I don't want no fucking old blockchain. Really? When I leave with an old blockchain. But I thought that's kind of part of why you and uh, Vaughn stopped talking is because you did, did want one and then you didn't get one, right? I didn't want one, but I never asked for one. I got, we got um, into confliction because I spoke about the old blockchains. Mm. I spoke about them. On what, YouTube or? Uh, no, nah, this was before I did YouTube. I ain't started YouTube until after Vaughn died. Right, because you already left Chicago yeah. before yeah, Vaughn before, started his rise. Before he started the rise. But, you know, I'm, pl- I'm one of the brothers. Like, I, I was with them in the beginning of the shit, mm. and I wasn't a nigga that was bystanding just in the house. I was out there. Mm. Them my niggas. Like, Vaughn, he was the first person that I ever, like, my grandma only let me, um, you probably don't know who Lil Gucci is. I only spent the night over two people crib before my grandmother died. She was my grandmother. She was the lady that adopted me. She ended up dying from cancer. Mm-hmm. And so Vaughn and Lil Gucci, I always was at Vaughn crib all the time. Main, like, you know, so we kind of, we all grew up together, bro. But really, that man, all of it, it's all messed up, man. Everything in the hood, everything in the world, it's all to distract you, mm-hmm. keep you busy. Keep you loving this, bro. Why are we thinking that it's going on? God is purging out the weeks from the tears. Let me ask you this. What do you think about rappers like Playboy Cardi and Lil Uzi who are pushing, you know, satanic imagery? And would you say that that is worse for society than the stuff that a Dirk or a Vaughn are putting out there where they might not be putting out Satanist shit, but they are talking about violence? No. What Lil Uzi and them doing, I respect that more than what Dirk and them doing. Really? If you're going to be a Satanist and you want to wear that flag, I'm going to respect you for that. But don't be pushing wickedness and then acting like you a good person. Because what what Cardi and what Uzi are putting out there is not, like, evil. It's more just like, oh, we think that, you know, this devil shit or this pentagram shit looks cool, which I get. But why Lil Uzi say, I'm going to hell and y'all coming with me? I mean, I think he's being this metaphorical. Yeah, he's just trying to talk and some shit. He's God saying said, some shit that sounds cool, right? This is why God said, for every idle word, and this sounds like something a God would do. For every idle word man say out their mouth, they're going to have to give an account for that. Mm. This is, see, it's it, when you don't see God, it's easy to do things as though he doesn't exist because you don't see him. Mm-hmm. You're like, man, shit, he ain't here right now. I'm finna do what I do. Mm-hmm. But then... <laughs> <laughs> what about what's the risk versus reward with this? I mean, from my perspective, there's there's probably like very little risk because I don't believe in God. But from your perspective, I could see. I mean, but all right, look, I'm saying so. If God is real, what what are you risking, and what's your reward? The reward for what? For wearing a cool, for a Slayer T-shirt with a bunch nah, of devil not heads that. on forget it. Forget all that. I'm talking about forget the clothes. The, what you wear don't define you. Right. What you do with your life, that defines who you are. Mm-hmm. And so... The thing with Uzi, I can't believe, is that JT is down for his whole little Satan thing. She seems like she would probably be against that. I mean, shit, women are, like, what I was trying to tell you She's earlier. She's along for the ride. Women are... the Satan used the first woman to get to the man because he couldn't get to Adam. But did you see her throwing her phone at him because he was taking a picture with Ice Spice? I, I don't be watching all that. <laughs> all, all the internet stuff. They got in a that. fight at the BET Awards. I bet they did, and I bet somehow, some way, well, I ain't going to say it, not, not everything be fake, so mm. it probably was a real moment. But, you know, people be doing things for ratings. Ain't possible. really no telling. Yeah, it's At possible, but it seemed very real in that moment. It was, a, it yeah. was a moment of like, oh, they're just like us. Like, celebrities are, are just like us. They can fight over some bullshit and not be able to control themselves. Even though in that moment, I was thinking, like, Jesus Christ, like, I, I would, no, no offense, but I, I would... I don't. I would never be able to get into a situation where like that with my girl at an award show in front of all of these people, especially if I'm as famous as them. For me, I'm gonna hold my tongue. I'm, if I'm if I'm pissed off at you, I'm gonna let you know off camera or when there's nobody around. You know, a hey, like how you say the Jesus Christ thing. That right, that just shows you the war that we fight, and that's why that name is desensitized because we use it like a curse word. You can stomp your toes, Jesus Christ. I say, oh, my God, all the time. And yeah. I'm, I'm really trying to take that out of my vocabulary because people— learned, This is learned behavior. People always be like, I thought you didn't believe in God. Yeah. God said every man has a—he gave every man a measure mm-hmm. of faith. But the difference is it's up to you whether or not you work out that measurement of faith and take it the whole way. Mm. Or you could get stuck. You know, 
God gave me, he put this on my spirit to tell people, you know how you go and you finna get a good meal, right? Mm-hmm. And you you get the, um, uh, uh, what comes out before the meal? You get like the little- Appetizer. The appetizer comes before the meal. But if you get full off the appetizer, you can't eat the meal, right? I know. I hate when they bring the bread out and you eat too much and you don't want to eat, eat your meal. You know. And then now what you really want it, you ain't going to be able to eat it because you got something else in the, in the place. right? That's like what heaven going to be like. Really? You eat off this shit and get full off of it. The greater things that's coming after this, oh, you done had your meal already. Mm. You had your good time. Right. You full. And the thing is, bro, I been there. I know if I tell you I been there, it really don't mean nothing for you because you need your own testimony. Mm-hmm. You need your own revelation. I'm waiting. The only, if, <laughs> if you really waiting to literally learn who God is, I can help you. But the difference is you got to be willing. Well, let me, let me just hit you with this. So you read the Bible. There's all these examples of God coming out and showing out and showing himself to all these people and stuff. If I had an experience like that, I don't think I would be able to sit here and say I was an atheist if God yeah. truly revealed himself. However, I mean, I've been alive for 39 years, and I've, I've, there's a lot of recorded history before that. We all have iPhones in our pocket. It doesn't seem like God is really trying to make it abundantly clear because he could probably pop up in the sky one time, yeah. give a little 10-minute speech, yeah. and then, but then everybody on away. earth would not be able to deny it. Adam, but then that takes away from the trial. This yeah. is supposed to be from this is supposed to see what do you love more? Do you love what Satan could provide to you? Or do you or will you allow to come after my see, look, you try a lot of different things with your life, right? Mm-hmm. Drugs, women. But Jesus said that and, and, and so give it a, he said, come try me. Forget what they're telling you. Don't listen to the world. You come try me. And you come see if I am good. For fuck what they saying. You don't know who working with them, and you don't know if they might say that they don't believe in, in Satan, but Satan is a, a father of lies. Mm. And so if he the father of lies, then the people who follow him, they going to be the father. They going to lie too because they father is a liar. I don't believe in Satan either. I just, Bro, uh, image wise, I think it's real, cool. If Satan wasn't real, you wouldn't see all these these, these crazy killings going on. If, 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 if Bro, Satan was is real. You know how he real? Why you think everybody did not? Ju- it's so easy to just pick this book up, but it's not. You know what I respect about you is that you actually take the the Christianity thing serious. Whereas I, I know so many people in my life who claim to be Christians, but from my perspective, have almost no interest in religion or uh, or, or you know fostering a, a relationship with God. They just sort of bust it out from time to time, like yeah, I believe in God. And I don't really buy it a large percentage of the time. It just feels like it's almost like a, it's like an image thing. That's like what they, religion they is. They think that they are the type of person who believes in God, so therefore they say that they believe in God. But meanwhile, they don't seem curious about the nature of the universe at all. I actually went viral in Christian YouTube world because at one point I was having a conversation with, again, I mentioned before this dude, Sneeko, and I told him, because he claimed to be religious, uh, I said, if... God is real. I would, if I thought that God was real, I would spend all of my time trying to get to the bottom mm. of mm. the nature of religion. And whereas, like he says, he believes in God, and, and he has changed his shit up because he, he seems like he's been meeting with some religious leaders and stuff like that. But I, I was asking him particular questions about religion and stuff, and it just didn't really seem like he had all that much interest in delving into the details of it. Whereas with somebody like you, at least you seem like you're really pursuing the truth. I can prove truth. anything. Right now, I can prove in this book, Jesus is God. 